my chairmanship. Uh, I think when I look back on it, it's it's an it's an endorsement. It's a uh, I, I feel uh, a sign of I guess of respect that, that I was considered to be to play the role for IBA, and I know a lot of folks within the organization, both bankers and folks at the IBA, and. Uh, Hopefully I've been a contributor during my time leading up to my uh, chairmanship, but uh, continue to be an advocate for the industry even when, I, when I'm past chair and we pass the baton to Ben uh, for 2024. So Jamie obviously has a passion for the uh, bank pack, trying to raise those funds. I think that's obviously something that will live on beyond him and then, you know, um, being around him for 20 years, he's got a lot of ideas, he's a fun guy to be around, and I just think that uh, the relationships he's built will last for quite some time. What's made Jamie really good as a chairman, and I think effective as a chairman, is, is one, he listens, um, and I think he does that really well, and I think that's something I've been able to watch him do. Um, two, he, he just cares about banking passionately, and he cares about um, what it means to operate a bank in a regulatory environment and in a political environment and what you got to do to make sure that that we're successful and being able to watch that um, and watch the impact he's had and the level of dedication he's had to that has been has been fantastic. Jamie was an easy choice by the IBA nominating committee uh, to be the 2023 chair for a number of reasons. Um, he has a really high level of commitment not just to the IBA but to the banking industry as a whole. And I've been um, observing Jamie for a number of years and his, his passion and his drive to make community banking uh, all that it can be in the state of Indiana and in the nation to lift us up, to encourage us, um, both as staff at the IBA and as bankers across the state to create an environment that's not only good for our banks and their staff, but for the communities that they serve. Many of you know Jamie as a chairman, but I actually know him from running a community bank in my hometown of Jasper, where we have grown close, worked together on many banking issues, facing Congress and affecting communities. His leadership and advocacy in the Indiana banking scene had led him to be a leader and a role model that any future chairman should look up to. Jamie, once again, congratulations on completing your term as the Indiana Bankers Association chairman Take care and good luck.